Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the interview question. That is, what is the difference between PySpark functions select and with column in Databricks development? This is also one of the performance optimization technique. Coming to PySpark function with column that is mainly used to add computed compute columns on top of existing data frames. Coming to select function that is mainly used to select list of columns out of a data frame. But using select, we can add new computed column, columns also on the fly. So when there is a requirement to add a new column, we can use either with column or select. We can use any of the function, but which function we are going to choose based on that there would be difference in the performance. Understanding the difference of select and with column is very important from two different aspects. One is clearing interview because this is one of the popular interview question. When you complete this video, you will understand and also you will be able to answer better in the interview. And a second aspect is performance optimization. So when you complete this video, you will understand which function you have to use. Before getting into next um, step, I would like to show the documentation from Spark. This is the URL. This is the official Spark documentation URL. And from there we can see the function, the method that is with column method introduces the pro projection internally. Therefore, calling it multiple times, for instance, via loops in order to add multiple columns can generate big plans which can cause performance issues and even stake overflow exception. To avoid this, use select with multiple columns at once. This is the statement. This is the notes given in the Spark documentation. Given as per Spark documentation, select is the recommended approach because with column has certain performance bottleneck. So if you are going to use uh, with column multiple times, it will cause performance, uh, performance issue and not only performance issue, it might lead to stake overflow exception error as well. Right. So what is the meaning of this note? Why uh, with column is not recommended? So that is what I'm going to explain now. When uh, let, let's assume there is a data frame which is containing four columns. Now we have to add four more columns. So using with column, we can add four more columns. So whenever we are going to add four more columns using with function, what happens is you know, each with column will create different uh, data frame internally. Because as per Spark architecture, data frames are immutable. It means we cannot change the existing data frame. So whenever we are adding new column using with column, what happens is internally it is creating new data frame. Even though we are not giving explicit uh, name for the data frame, but internally it will create a new data frame. So let's say we are adding four columns, which means four different data frames will be created internally one by one. And let us assume in the with column, we are using certain um, complex um, uh, logic. Let's say we are having window function. Window function is uh, one of the costliest operation because uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is shuffling the data across executors. So whenever we have to add new column based on window function, it is going to shuffle the data across executors. But whenever we are going to add the data uh, multiple times, you know, multiple columns, let's say in this case, uh, four columns, which means four different data frames will be created which would require four, uh, four times a shuffle operation. So it's going to be costly. So this is the uh, reason for performance bottleneck in with column. But on the other hand, if you go with the select uh, function, what happens? Let's say I'm going to add all the four columns in one single go using select uh, function, which means it is going to create only one data frame internally. For that, it is going to shuffle the data only one time and it will uh, add all the computed columns on top of that in single go. So that is the reason we are avoiding uh, unnecessary shuffle operations in select uh, function. That is the reason select uh, perform, performs better compared to with column. So this is the reason why we have to go with select instead of with column wherever possible. In case you know, we cannot achieve the solution using select, then we can go with uh, with column, but we should try to avoid with column as much as possible. I hope you understood the internal uh, working mechanism of uh, select and with column. Based on this understanding, you can um, uh, you can answer in the interview or you can apply in your uh, project requirement as well. Let's uh, get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment and cluster is up and running 
and in the first cell I am going to create sample data frame through which uh, we can uh, take this demo. So let me execute the first step. The execution is completed. It has uh, created three records with four columns ID, first name, last name and salary. Now let us assume on top of this uh, data frame I have to add four new columns. That is uh, you know as per my business requirement I have to add four columns. The first uh, new column is uh, name. It's a kind of you know full name. Uh, the value would be concatenation of first name, space and last name. And the second column is bonus uh, percent that is uh, hard coded value literal 10. And the third column is a total salary that is a multiplication of salary and uh, the bonus uh, percent. And uh, finally I am adding one more audit column that is state created at which uh, time this particular record is created. So uh, in most of the project we can see this uh, style of um, uh, code PySpar code to add new columns. So in the source data frame I am using with column multiple times. This is the first column, this is the second column, this is the third one and fourth. So similarly in the project uh, we can see uh, tens of or even hundreds of uh, with column we can see but that is not good for performance. So this is one approach and apart from that you know we have one more approach here we, you can see explicitly we are giving a different name for each data frame. Whenever we are creating new column for each column we are uh, creating uh, explicitly new data frame. So this is a different approach. In this approach I am giving source data frame on top of that uh, using with column I am adding the logic. Then again uh, in the second data frame again again I am adding the second column and in the third data frame I am adding the third column. So this is another approach even in most of the projects we can see this uh, style of coding as well. But uh, both are uh, actually same both will produce same output. So let me execute. So we can see the output as I told on top of uh, existing four columns we have created four new columns based on this syntax and uh, coming to the other approach let me execute the code. Here as well on top of the existing uh, four columns we have created four new columns both are exactly same. So in your project probably if you are finding some code with uh, these uh, style then probably you can uh, try to improve the performance by applying select that I will cover later. Now you know apart from these two different methods in some projects we can see new columns are getting added through some user defined function. For example in certain projects you know we have to add audit columns at, a, at the end of each data frame. Audit column means uh, you know it's a kind of uh, date created at what time that particular uh, record got created and who created created by user. So that uh, information can be taken uh, based on a DB utility function. This is the syntax for that and uh, which uh, notebook created that also can be taken from DB utility function notebook path. So uh, these are um, you know these informations are used for uh, tracking or you know logging purpose later that is why these are called audit columns. So in some project audit columns would be added using user defined function. So this is another style. So let me execute the this um, function then I am uh, giving my input data frame my source data frame then let me execute uh, this step. Here on top of our uh, source data it has created three audit columns one is state created another one is created by user another one is uh, created pipeline that is the pipeline uh, the notebook name right these are the different uh, you know scenarios where we are using with column more commonly in any project but uh, with column can be avoided instead of that we can go with select statement now I am going to explain that part here this is our uh, first uh, style of uh, uh, you know uh, syntax I have explained in one of the above cell. Basically I am creating new new data frame by creating by adding four new columns. But um, I want to avoid with column for that I want to go with the select how we can do for that I have given the syntax here. Here we can see I am uh, using instead of with column I am using select statement within that I am putting star which means it will select all the existing columns in this case the four existing columns will be selected using the star then on top of that I am adding four uh, columns in four um, uh, rows. So coming to the first one I am using the same logic which I uh, used in with column. It's the same logic I am concatenating first name and last name with uh, space separation and for that column I have to give a meaningful name. So name in a with column basically we are giving the name in this way but coming to uh, select statement we have to give a name using alias. 
So the same approach, second I have to give literal 10 that I have given. Then I need to define the column name that I am defining using alias bonus percent. So in the same way I am adding two other columns as well. So this is uh, this is how we can uh, try to avoid with column and we can use select statement to add new columns. These uh, both statements will produce exactly same output but uh, the difference uh, in performance will be uh, huge. Maybe this is one of the simple example but in some cases where we are using window function or some aggregation function which requires the data shuffle we can see big difference in performance. So let me execute this step so that we can understand the output is same for both of these uh, code. Execution is completed we can see it is producing same output. So this is how this is how we can try to avoid with column and we can use a select. I hope you understood what is the difference between select and with column and also you understood the internal working mechanism of select and with column so that you can understand the difference between performance. I hope you understood the concept and enjoyed this video. If you like the content of this video, please like and comment in the channel. Also please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.